right, YouTube. So Paul and Daisy here, uh, day 79, another Wisdom Wednesday. Um, I'll take you back to last uh, week's Wisdom uh, Wednesday when we talked about choices and uh, let you see that video. Anyway, today uh, the topic of my video is going to be um, yacht brokers. Do you need them or not uh, when you're buying the trawler? But before we get started, I'm going to go over a couple things from yesterday. One is, I went to the doctor and my foot, I got the boots off my foot now, so I'm not 100% cured yet, but things are moving along much better, and by next week or the week after, uh, I should be able to full blow and get back into box with here with Daisy, so that's super cool, a nice update, I haven't told you about that. Also today, we're heading to Vegas this morning, uh, I've got a, a good friend of mine and a big supporter of the channel, Keith. Uh, and he is going to, um, we're going to run to Vegas and pick up some solar panels for our solar project. Also yesterday, my Bitcoin shirt showed up. Look out, Daisy. See, it says uh, Bitcoin. Uh, ask, ask me a, about, a question about Bitcoin. And it took a little while to get my shirt, so she gave me a free koozie with my shirt. So I got my Coke in there this morning. So that was super cool, and I love the shirt. I just, I, I really do. It's, it's great quality, and, and I'm... Glad that I uh, took the time and I, I got it. So anyway, um, and then another project that we're working on is uh, a guy. Uh, he's become a friend, uh, but he's also my financial advisor, and uh, he's really helped my parents through. Uh, you know, he, my dad's a veteran, and this is how I met him: is he uh, donates his time to the veterans to help them uh, through their final uh, years of life, and uh, he does just awesome things for them. It's just unbelievable what he does for me. I can't thank him enough for saying enough about this guy. Like, he could be a saint. Anyway, he wants to start a YouTube channel, and so I'm going to help him with that. And it's a way for me to give back for all that he does for uh, the veterans of the U.S. So it's super, super cool. I'm, just, I'm really excited about the project, I can tell you that. And uh, then I'll share it with you guys as, as it gets a little further along. I think we're going to go over there on the 19th of this month and we're going to do a, a, a video at his house and we'll do an introduction to the channel and then an actual video. So then uh, another thing that showed up yesterday is me and Keith, you know, he's a big component of the channel, is uh, uh, radios. Uh, these uh, rugged radios right here, uh, well not rugged, these bullfang radios right here that we sell the brackets for. Uh, um, we, we bought a bunch of them from a guy and we're going to pre-program them and put them on my eBay store. So why that's cool to me is because uh, before I jump in the trawler here, we're going to create a revenue stream and we're going to have a bunch of different products on our eBay store. So that we're working on that and that's something, you know, you can see it start to, start to move. I'll start sharing the links to my eBay uh, store once I have a few more products on there for you guys so you guys can go over there and support the channel. But today, I really want to talk about yacht brokers. That's what the video is about. Do you need a yacht broker when you're searching for a boat? I, you know, if you're searching for a 21 foot Bayliner boat, you know, to go skiing in, no, you don't need a broker. But if you want a, a, a true yacht, or per se, or something that has the capabilities of going offshore over to the Bahamas or something like that, and let's just say 30 plus feet, yeah, you probably want a broker. A, things start to get very, very expensive and a lot of things can go wrong and they, they know what to look for and the paperwork has to be filled out correctly. If the paperwork's not correct, correctly done, you can get a lot of trouble very quickly and a couple examples of that, here I'll show you, this is my uh, sailboat that I used to own. Um, and I got in a little trouble with this sailboat. When I went to sell it, it was, the paperwork wasn't done correctly. I did it through a boat dealership, but they weren't a yacht broker and they, they didn't really know what they were doing. And this boat here, uh, my sailboat here, was uh, it had its NV numbers for, uh, for Las Vegas because that's where I lived. And when I went to sell it, I, I took it to California and we had to you know, pay a trucking company and everything. I spent thousands of dollars to move this boat and uh, get a bunch of work done on it. And then uh, we found a buyer in California, the buyer bought the boat. But after it was all done, we found out that it was previous owner had documented. Somehow it got, it got its MV numbers and it was documented. And so when uh, we went to sell it, 
you couldn't sell it because uh, you know the paperwork was done incorrectly from the, from this uh, from the second buyer. I was the third buyer, and uh, so the things got a little ugly there. And that took me, it took us about three months to get all that straightened out. So the boat is sitting there. I had to pay slip rent on it. I had to pay all the maintenance and all the fees on it, and everything like that, while the boat was being uh, while the paperwork was getting straightened out. So I learned a huge lesson from that boat. So I'll never buy another boat like that, or you know, or any boat. Even if I found a boat that was not uh, represented by a broker, I would find a. Bro I wouldn't buy it without a broker looking at the boat and give me their opinion. A and B. I wouldn't. Uh, I, I want to do all the paperwork. They have to do all the paperwork because the paperwork's got to be correct, especially for someone like me that might be taking the boat over to the Bahamas or Cuba or something like that. I've got to make sure all of my paperwork is done correctly, and that so I got something that I could uh, call back on. So I definitely would use a broker. So we've teamed up with uh, American uh, Yachts. And uh, they're, they're out there uh, close to us over there in Spanish Fort. And uh, I didn't realize it, but Claire here, I'll show you a picture of her. Beautiful young lady. I, I have no idea. Uh, but she started texting me on one of the boats that I was looking at. I was actually in Alabama, this first trawler right here. And it's sold, or it's supposedly it's sold. We'll see. But anyway, we've started a, a dialogue and a communication. And it doesn't matter what bo boat I buy. It doesn't matter what city. They're kind of just like real estate brokers. Uh, represent me on any boat that I buy in Florida, you know, any anywhere. It doesn't really matter. And she could jump on an airplane and go check the boat out before I ever even see the boat and do all the homework before I even go look at the boat. So she'll know every single thing there is to know about that boat, and she'll know if it's a great deal or a bad deal. Or you know, I won't get involved with any boat that you know it's not a good deal. I just won't do it. It's I think times are going to get uh, extremely uh, tough here. Uh, in the next uh, coming months, especially after the election type thing. So, and I'm, I'm honest to God thinking about just waiting until after the election now, it's not that far off, and uh, seeing uh, before I buy. But I never know, because Zarnowski could call me back, and if they do, you know, I, I, got an, I, got, I have a really good job, and if, if I need to buy another year or so, a couple of years, you know, I'll stick it out here with Zarnowski, because, uh, you know, I love the guys, I love the team that I work with. And we'll just keep looking, you know, and when that right deal comes along, we will jump, I, I promise you. So stick with us. We love you guys. Peace out. Uh, uh, follow us on Instagram and uh, uh, Twitter and uh, Facebook. Facebook is where I do most of my posting. And uh, today, anyway, I'll post some pictures of the solar panels as we go pick them up if they let me. Uh, it's kind of a weird little operation, but uh, we've contacted them and uh, we're going to go today and pick up the um, solar panels. Anyway, Paul and Daisy, we love you guys. Peace out. Uh, you got anything to say this morning, Daisy? Huh? <laughs> guys, this is my best friend, I can tell you that. I love this thing. I just love her to death. I just, I can't get enough of her. I just love her so much. Anyway, Paul Bates, Daisy, we love you guys. Peace out. Be good or be good at it. Thank you. Bye.